Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com. This is part two of the uh, old car oil change video. Um, I'm just about done now. Uh, I've put five quarts in the Trans Am. It takes six. Most Pontiacs take six. And I have the empties here. And the reason I've got the empties lined up with the little funnel in it is that I always like to see whether there's any abnormal oil consumption in between oil changes. So what I do is I take my old oil, there it is there in the catch pan, and I measure it out and fill the old containers up with it just to see exactly how much has been consumed since the last oil change. Also, um, it's kind of handy for disposal purposes. It's easier to take this to a gas station or wherever you take your used oil, hopefully not the woods, hopefully not uh, dumping it down a storm sewer than it is to try and get that big unwieldy clunky thing um, down, to, down to the station. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh yeah, um, before I close up everything here, take a look at how fairly dirty that oil is. An interesting thing about it is uh, that oil only has about 900 miles on it, but it has been sitting in the Trans Am for about a year. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I like to use a, a, a high quality uh, oil that's formulated for lightly used older cars like the AMS oil. Um, because these old engines, they leak fuel through the carburetors, they tend to accumulate moisture inside the engine. Um, so if you care about your old car's engine, you really should use a high quality oil, at least that's my recommendation. And my personal favorite for muscle cars, for old cars generally, I really am a big fan of AMS oil. I like their formulations. Um, I like the fact that they have the high ZDP, ZDDP content, the zinc and the manganese that these cars with the uh, flat tappet camshafts need. Uh, and the uh, class leading anti-corrosion inhibitors and the extended intervals in between oil changes. It's one of the other side benefits. Uh, the stuff's actually not that much more expensive than uh, a roughly equivalent um, high-end synthetic, um, but you can keep it in the car for longer without risking any damage to your vehicle. Anyway, um, the uh, story will be up at epautos.com shortly along with some pictures. Uh, I also just posted a piece about the, uh, the Chevy Vega uh, GM's cobble pot, um, which is basically a chapter from my uh, my book in progress called Doomed. That's a follow up to automotive atrocities and road hogs. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and we will catch up with you next.